Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, my name is Angie. Today we're going to be doing something low to the ground. Um, so if you have blocks, feel free to grab those. Um, if not, you won't necessarily need one, um, but they're always great to have. With that said, let's begin in child's pose. Pose together, knees wide. Set the hips back onto the heels. And then just reach the arms out in front of you. Drop the forehead to the mat. Just a few breaths here to settle into the hips. Let the breaths be full and long. Deepening the breath here, feel the ribs expand. Feel the ribs contract. Fill up, crawl the hands forward. Stay for the exhale. Inhale to slide the hands forward and round the spine up. And then stack the knees under the hips, drop the belly, lift the chest, expose the heart forward, breathe in. Exhale to round, press the ground away, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, press the ground away. Do that again, breath in. Breath out. Good. Flip the right fingers to face the knees. Spread the fingers really wide and anchor all parts of the hand down here. Stretch around. Gently grip through the fingers. If you're trying to grip the mat. Notice how that lights up the muscles surrounding the wrists and the forearms. Studying the breath. Go ahead and flip that wrist around. Switch sides. So left fingers point towards the knees. Spread the fingers wide, really anchored down through all parts of the hand and then grip the mat. Light up the fingers. Rock side to side. Very gentle movements. The movements don't have to be big. Small movements, big impact. Remembering to breathe. Flip the wrists. And then take the back of the hands down and you can kind of walk them a little bit closer. Sit back on the um, calves. Backs of the hands, fingers point each towards each other on the mat. Make sure the thumbs stay down. So if they're starting to pick up, anchor the thumbs, spread the fingers wide. Good, whole hand is active here. And then option to bend the elbows, lower the chest down, and then inhale, press back up. Let's do one more, lower down, press back up. Good, flip the hands to normal, come to a tabletop. And then we'll take puppy pose. So option two, take it supported with blocks here, or just reach the fingers to the top corner of the mat and drop the chest down. So it will look like this, keeping the hips stacked over the knees. You wanna do it on the blocks, you have blocks. Take the backs of the elbows, 
to the mat. And then drop the chest down, hands in prayer behind the neck. If you need to walk the knees back a little bit, you can. Feel the ribs expand when you breathe in. Feel it get a little bit more intense at the top. And then feel the release as you exhale. Go ahead and press into the blocks. Come back up. We'll take the blocks on the highest setting here. And then just step the right foot through. Drop the hips down. Lift the heart up. So you're welcome to either keep the hands on the blocks here with a nice straight spine or you can lift the arms up reach towards the sky or grab opposite elbows if you want it to be a little bit more active keep breathing feel the connection of your foot on the mat and the back shin stable through the base. Breathe in as you lift the heart a little higher. And then exhale, hands to the blocks, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana, straighten the front leg, send the hips back. Pull the toes towards the face here. Lift up to flatten out the spine. And then fold as you reach the heart forward. So trying not to round too much. So we're not rounding like this. We're reaching, elongating the spine, and then folding. Inhale, bend into the front knee. And then exhale the hips back. Good. Inhale, tuck the back toes, step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Feel the difference from one leg to the other. The space in the right back of the leg versus the left. There may be more resistance in the left than the right. Shake the head out here. Grab opposite elbows. Release the spine, the head and neck. Big breath in. Smooth breath out. Inhale, lift up halfway, flatten the spine. Exhale. Plant the palms, right foot steps back, right knee drops down. Option to grab your blocks. And either you keep the hands on the blocks, keep reaching the heart forward, or lift up. I like to grab opposite elbows. It helps me open the chest a little bit more. Getting a little bit more stretch in the front body. Big breath in, exhale, hands to the blocks, straighten the front leg. Lift up halfway, lengthen the spine, and then exhale to refold. On your next breath in, 
Plant the left foot down, bend into the left knee, lift the heart. Exhale the hips back, half splits. Tuck the toes under, inhale, press yourself forward and up, top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, reach high. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, flatten the spine, maybe hands to the shins. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank, and then drop the knees and lower the chest all the way to the mat. Baby Cobra here will lift up, float the hands off the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Shoulders are down and back. Keep breathing. Reach through the feet, float the feet. And then lower all the way to the mat. Crocodile, maybe you stack the palms and the rest of the head on the back of the hands. All right. Take the hands on either sides of the ribs, press up, high plank, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through, drop the back knee down. Inhale, the arms high. Stay for the exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, half splits. Maybe hands come to the mat, or maybe they just stay floating, finding some balance. Inhale, plant the right hand down, lift the left arm up. Take a twist here. Revolved Anjane Asana. And then exhale, bend the back knee, reach towards that foot, going for a little quad stretch. Drop the hips. I like to flare my left knee open, coming onto the pinky side edge of my left foot. You can see what that feels like for you. Slowly release, inhale. Exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Wait, left foot steps back, left knee drops down. Inhale, the arms high. Stay for the exhale. One breath in, exhale, half splits. On an inhale, left hand plants, right arm reaches high, bending into the right knee. Take a breath in, exhale for the quad stretch. And if you can't grab the foot, that's okay. Just bend the knee and then reach towards the foot. Take a breath in, release, frame the front foot, step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, step back, lower all the way down. Maybe you drop the knees. And then inhale, float the hands, lift the feet, locus. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, squeezing the elbows together, reaching the hands up and back. Exhale, crocodile, drop the head down to the backs of the hands. Hands frame the ribs, press yourself 
into a child's pose here. Toes together, knees wide. Push the arms forward. Let the head come down to the mat. This is my second practice today. First practice was more energized before noon. Now it's approaching evening. I've had a couple meals, I've done a few things. My energy's lower. So honoring this more mellow practice, but still building prana. So there's moments of movement and moments of pause. Trying to find balance between the two without overexerting and still getting in some movement. All right, we'll round the spine back up, come into your tabletop position, and then come up onto the knees. And we're gonna take a couple um, camel poses here. So you can take the hands to the low back, and I like to like tuck my shoulder blades so they kind of like scoop my heart, lift the heart up, tuck the tailbone. So I'm creating this long spine. Take a breath in, option to tuck the toes. I'm gonna tuck my toes because my right toe, my right foot's cramping. <laughs> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean back. Keep the core tight. Maybe the hands come to the knees or knees. Why do I do this? The heels. <laughs> Keep reaching through the heart. Keep the head, neck strong. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale to come out. Hands come to low back. Set the hips down. Palms face up on tops of the thighs. Close the eyes. Hmm. Feel your heartbeat. Notice where you can feel it. Soften the belly. Soften the face. Awareness at the third eye. Notice any colors or lights or textures or patterns or images. Feel the air on your skin. Maybe a little bit of sweat drying. Notice the sounds around you. Smell the air. Any tastes in the mouth. And just notice, just sitting in meditation for a few moments, just observing, concentrating the mind on your senses.
Take a breath in, bringing the awareness back into the body. And we'll take a few ohms together. You can do this by counting on your hands. We're going to do eight. So I always just count with my each finger to my thumb. And I'll do one finger twice. Take a breath in. getting quieter. And bring the palms together at heart center. Inhale the thumbs to the third eye. And we'll bow to each other to seal the practice. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. I encourage you to lay down, take Shavasana here for um, a couple minutes. Just let yourself exist. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for being here.